Today, state bomb and arson investigators combed through the rubble of a Gibson County church. Agents with the ATF also in Fruitland today saying right now the church fire appears to be an isolated incident. WBBJ 7 Eyewitness News reporter Mallory Cook shows us what's left of the historic church. Crews tear down what's left of a wall at Fruitland Presbyterian Church Wednesday, just hours after fire destroyed the building. Well, it's just sad. I cried. You know, I just said, um, I can't. It's just like losing a family member. Elaine Dooley grew up in the church and says her daughter got married here. I have a fond memories of the Sunday school classes, the Sunday school teachers. That's where I got saved. I got baptized. The state fire marshal's office, along with the ATF, try to determine what sparked Tuesday night's fire. Agents say they take pictures and samples from the scene and canvas the neighborhood. We want to be sure, 100% sure, that this was an accidental fire, not on purpose. Gibson County Fire Chief Brian Caffey says he believes it probably started in the roof area and lightning may be to blame. The neighbors said that there was lightning strikes in the area. A couple of them rocked the ground about 30 minutes before we were paged. The church, we're told, was built in the 1800s. A piece of history in Gibson County. For Dooley, it's a piece of her life story. I just want to come back and just see it, make pictures, and just. Just say it one more time before they tear it all down. The fire chief says the church didn't have many members and he's not sure if they plan to rebuild. In Gibson County, Mallory Cook, WBBJ 7 Eyewitness News. Firefighters say no one was hurt. If you have any information about this fire, call the Gibson County Sheriff's Office. That number can be found in the story on our website, which can be found in the top story section.